Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel to a new engineering video, today with the top 10 largest cargo aircraft in the world. If you want on my channel you can already find, in the right top corner or video caption, a similar video based on the aircraft payload, while here we are about to analyze them by their sides. Let's start this video with the 10th position, the C2 from Japan. The C2 has a crew of 3 and it's being produced from 2010. We have 7 of them built until now and more than 40 planned for the future. It has a cost of 136 million dollars, a length of 43.9 meters, an height of 14.2 meters and a wingspan of 44.4 meters. The wing area is 170 square meters, then we have a takeoff roll of 2300 meters and a landing roll of 1200 meters. These last two are the minimum runaway lengths for a safe takeoff and landing. The aircraft can reach a maximum speed of 917 km per hour or 495 knots and a cruise speed of 890 km per hour or 481 knots. We can find a range that goes from 4500 km with the maximum payload up to 7600 km with the minimum payload. The service sailing is 12200 meters. For the power plant we can find two turbofans with a total power of 530 kilonewtons. Then we have an empty weight of 37,000 kilograms, a maximum takeoff weight of 141,400 kilograms, a wing loading of 212 kilograms per square meter and a payload of 52,000 kilograms. The cargo can be loaded from the rear of the aircraft and the cargo hold dimension is 269 cube meters. At the ninth spot we can find the Y20 from China. It has a crew of 3 and is being produced from 2013, with more than 10 of them built until now. It has a cost of 160 million dollars, a length of 47 meters, an height of 15 meters and a wingspan of 45 meters. The wing area is 330 square meters. Unfortunately we don't have information for the takeoff and the landing rolls. The Y20 can reach a maximum speed of 800 km per hour or 432 knots a cruise speed of 630 km per hour or 340 knots and a maximum range that goes from 4500 km for the maximum payload up to 10000 km for the minimum payload. The service ceiling is 13000 meters and we can find a power plant made by four turbofans with a total power of 560 kN. Then we have an empty weight of 100000 kg a maximum takeoff weight of 220,000 kg and a wing loading of 303 kg per square meter. For the payload we can find a 66,500 kg and the cargo can be loaded from the rear of the aircraft. At the 8th spot we can find the IL-76 from Russia. It has a crew of 5 and it's been produced from 1974, with more than 960 of them built until now. It has a cost of only 50 million dollars, quite cheap compared to the others, with the latest upgrade introduced in 2014, the IL-76MD 90A. It has a length of 46.6 meters, an height of 14.8 meters and a wingspan of 50.5 meters. The wing area is 300 square meters and we have a takeoff roll of 1700 meters and a landing roll of 930 meters. The IL-76 maximum speed is 890 km per hour or 480 knots, a cruise speed of 850 km per hour or 459 knots with a range that goes from 4,100 km for the maximum payload up to 8,500 km for the minimum payload. The service sailing is 12,000 meters and we can find a power plant of 4 turbofans with a total power of 569 kN. Then we have an empty weight of 92,000 kg a maximum takeoff weight of 210,000 kg, a wing loading of 307 kg per square meter, and a payload of 52,000 kg. The cargo can be loaded from the rear of the aircraft and the cargo hold is 321 cubic meters. 
At the seventh spot we can find the C-17 Global Master 3 from United States of America. It has a crew of three and it's been produced from 1995 with 279 of them built out in RAW. It has a cost of 218 million dollars with the latest upgrade the C-17 AER extended range introduced in 2001. It has a length of 53 meters, an height of 16.8 meters and a wingspan of 51.7 meters. The wing area is 353 square meters and we have a takeoff roll of 2300 meters and a landing roll of 900 meters. The C-17 maximum speed is 850 km per hour or 465 knots. Then we have a cruise speed of 829 km per hour or 450 knots with a minimum range of 4,500 km with the maximum payload, up to 10,400 km with the minimum payload. The service sailing is 13,700 m. And we have a power plant of 4 turbofans with a total power of 720 kN. Then we can find an empty weight of 128,000 kg, a maximum takeoff weight of 265,000 kg and a wing loading of 363 kg per square meter. The payload is 77,500 kg and the cargo can be loaded from the rear of the aircraft. The cargo hold is 549 cube meters. At the sixth spot we can find the AN-22 Ante from Soviet Union and now Ukraine. It has a crew of five and it's been produced from 1965. 68 of them were built until now. We don't have information about the average cost, but we know that the latest upgrade was introduced in 2000 and it's called the AN-22M. It has a length of 57.9 meters, an height of 12.5 meters and a wingspan of 64.4 meters. The wing area is 345 square meters. Then we have a takeoff roll of 1,400 meters and a landing roll of 1,000 meters. The anti maximum speed is 740 km per hour or 400 knots and it can reach a cruise speed of 580 km per hour or 313 knots. It has a range that goes from 5,000 km with the maximum payload up to 11,000 km with the minimum payload. A service sailing of 7,500 meters and very interesting, this is the only one in the list not powered by turbofans but turboprops. In fact, we can find four of them with a total power of 60,000 HP. For the empty weight, we have 118,000 kg, a maximum takeoff weight of 250,000 kg, and a wing loading of 344 kg per square meter. The payload is 60,000 kg, and the cargo can be loaded from the rear of the aircraft. The cargo hold is 639 cube meters. And we finally reached the top 5 of the list, starting with the C5 Galaxy from United States of America. It has a crew of 7 and it's been produced from 1968. 131 of them were built until now with a cost of 100 million dollars. The latest upgrade, the C5M Super Galaxy, was introduced in 2006. It has a length of 75.3 meters, an height of 19.8 meters and a wingspan of 67.9 meters. The wing area is 576 square meters with a takeoff roll of 2,500 meters and a landing roll of 1,500 meters. The Super Galaxy maximum speed is 855 km per hour or 462 knots. The cruise speed is 833 km per hour or 450 knots. And we have a range that goes from 6000 up to 13000 km. The service sailing is 11800 meters. And for the power plant, we have four turbofans with a total power of 900 kN. The empty weight is 172,000 kilograms then we have a maximum takeoff weight of 418,000 kilograms and a wing loading of 610 kilograms per square meter the payload is 130,000 kilograms and the cargo can be loaded from both the front and the rear of the aircraft the cargo hold is 880 cube meters 
At the fourth spot we have the AN-124 Raslan from Soviet Union and now Ukraine. It has a crew of six and it's been produced from 1983 with 55 of them built until now. It has a cost of 100 million dollars and the latest upgrade was introduced in 2012, the AN-124 100M-150. It has a length of 69 meters, an height of 20.8 meters and a wingspan of 73.3 meters. The wing area is 628 square meters with a takeoff roll of 2500 meters and a landing roll of 900 meters. It can reach a maximum speed of 865 km per hour or 467 knots, a cruise speed of 830 km per hour or 448 knots and we have a range that goes from 5,000 km up to 12,000 km. The service ceiling is 12,000 meters and we can find a power plant of 4 turbofans with a total power of 918 kN. The empty weight is 175,000 kg and the maximum takeoff weight is 405,000 kg. The wing loading is 645 kg per square meter with a payload of 150,000 kg. The cargo also for this one can be loaded from both the front and the rear of the aircraft, while the cargo hold is 1015 cubic meters. And it's finally time for the top 3 of the list, starting with the 747 Dreamlifter from United States of America. It has a crew of 3 and it's been produced from 2006 with 4 of them built until now and a cost of 150 million dollars. We don't have a latest upgrade because it's a conversion from the standard Boeing 747-400 class. It has a length of 71.7 meters, a height of 21.5 meters and a wingspan of 64.4 meters. The wing area is 525 square meters, then we have a takeoff roll of 2800 meters and a landing roll of 1500 meters. The Dreamlifter maximum speed is 910 km per hour or 491 knots, its cruise speed is 878 km per hour or 474 knots and it has a range that goes from 7800 km up to 13400 km. The service sailing is 13700 meters and for the power plant we have four turbofans with a total power of 1128 kN. Then we can find an empty weight of 180530 kg, a maximum Take off weight of 364,240 kg and a wing loading of 700 kg per square meter. The payload is 113,400 kg and the cargo can be loaded from middle rear. Yes, it's a quite weird aircraft because this one almost split in half and you can load the cargo from there. The cargo hold is 1,840 cubic meters. At the second spot we can find the AN-225 Maria from Soviet Union and now Ukraine. It has a crew of six and it's been produced from 1989 with only one existing in the world that was recently destroyed during the Ukrainian war in 2022. Even though the only one existing was recently destroyed I thought it was still important to keep it in the list not only because it was one of the most famous and iconic aircraft in the world but also also because we have another one partially built that maybe can be merged with what we still have of the destroyed one making a completely new aircraft. I'm not sure but I can only hope to see this beautiful aircraft fly again. But let's continue. The aircraft cost is 250 million dollars, it has a length of 84 meters, an height of 18.1 meters and a wingspan of 88.4 meters. The wing area is 905 square meters with a takeoff roll of 3000 meters and a landing roll of 2500 meters. We can find a maximum speed of 850 km per hour or 460 knots, a cruise speed of 800 km per hour or 432 knots and a range that goes from 4000 km up to 15400 km. The service sailing is 11,000 meters and for the power plant we have 6 turbofans with a total power of 1,377 kN. The empty weight is 285,000 kg, the maximum takeoff weight is 640,000 kg with a wing loading of 663 kg per square meter. 
For the payload we have a maximum weight of 254,000 kg. The cargo can be loaded from the front of the aircraft and also can be loaded on the top of the fuselage. For example, this aircraft was adopted in the past to transport the Buran shuttle, the Russian version of the space shuttle that probably most of you already know. About the internal cargo hold, the dimension is 1220 cube meters. And the list is almost finished with the first and the last position, the Stratolunch from United States of America. This aircraft is very new and quite peculiar, so some information can be missing and quite weird. For example, we can find a crew of two in the right cockpit because the left fuselage is simply dummy. It's empty, we have only instruments, but you cannot fly the aircraft from there. They only fly it from the right fuselage. It's being produced from 2019 with only one built until now, with a cost of 400 million dollars, is quite expensive. It has a length of 73 meters, an height of 15 meters and a wingspan of 117 meters. We don't have info about the wing area, but we know that the takeoff roll is 3700 meters and the landing roll 3000 meters. The Stratolunch can reach a maximum speed of 850 km per hour or 460 knots and a cruise speed of 800 km per hour or 432 knots, just like the previous aircraft. The range is quite limited compared to the previous aircraft, we have a minimum of 1,900 km up to 4,600 km. The safety ceiling is 11,000 m and for the power plant we have 6 turbofans with a total power of 1,515 kN. The empty weight is 226,800 kg. The maximum takeoff weight is 589,670 kg. We don't have info about the wing loading, but we know that the payload is 250,000 kg. Another peculiar characteristic of this aircraft, the cargo can be loaded externally under the main wing. While you can find different kind of cargo, it's mostly designed to carry rockets or spacecraft. But who knows, with this huge payload they can still make an external cargo loading that can be connected under the main wing and transport smaller cargo inside. And also for today that's all, I hope you enjoyed this video, if yes remember to leave a thumbs up and check also the playlist that you can find in the right up corner or the caption of the video to find more videos like this one, so if you liked this video you may find something else to watch. As usual remember to leave me a comment and let me know the argument for a future video and see you again next week with a new video. Bye!